What's up, gang? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. Today, we're gonna go over the DNA Lab software synth. It's called the Helium Quad Evolving Synthesizer. Now, this is a hybrid, meaning it's half sampler, half synthesizer. It's not an open sampler, meaning you could sample into it, but it does use wave based ROM content to begin its synthesis process. Now, there's pros and cons. The pros are it's not gonna kill your computer, your CPU, DSP processing. It's gonna be light on your computer, but the con is it's a lot of gigabytes on your hard drive. But if you got space, if you have space, it's a great, great way to get quality content very quickly and you can open many instance of, instances of it um, as opposed to a true synthesizer which is also great yet you can't open very many instances without your computer crackling from crazy um, latency issues and processing issues from high DSP usage. Well I think Romplers are the sweet spot and the Helium synth is yours truly, the creation of yours truly and uh, I found the sweet spot and I like it and I love it. It's my creation. I think you guys will love it once I explain it to you. It is a quad evolving synth, meaning it's four oscillators and it evolves from each different waveform, meaning it changes over time. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use everything in it. It has some cool effects like the helium effect, which is a pitch um, envelope on release. It basically changes pitch as you release or as you engage the key. It's, uh, it's, it's very cool. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, it's all my own and come on, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with an initialized device. <clears throat> the, in the initialized patch has a saw and one oscillator enabled. Okay, we're gonna take that saw and we're gonna transform it into a quad evolving synth. Let's go. First, I wanna take the main amp and add a little release. Probably change this to a bell three. Add a little chorus. Let's add a different bell. As the second um oscillator. Okay. Let's add a lead and probably a unison lead. Add some phaser. Now these effects chorus and phaser are respective to each side. So this these phaser amounts would not correspond with these phaser amounts. It's just applied to this side and this side. Now if we wanted to not have the the main amp all controlled by this then we could just simply make an envelope one turn the amount up and then control say the first a1 oscillator and now this envelope will actually be the adsr for this let me show you Now each oscillator has level, pan, of course, um, semitones and tune, which is fine tuning. Uh, we have an evolve section for oscillator A1 and A2. We have an evolve section for oscillator B1 and B2. And then we have an, uh, an evolve mix section for the A side mixing to the B side. So let me show you, this is the key to making the sounds change. Let me show you this side right here. If 
you listen close, it's cycling from bell three to bell one. This will give you more of a mix on this side and more of a mix on this side. We could pick our wave shape. And this is our speed on this side. Now we have all four oscillators engaged. Now let's engage the Evolve mix. Negative and positive will go towards this side as the main or this side as the main. The speed, tempo sync. We have compression ratios. We have A and B filters, which A is respective to the A1, A side, A2 side, and B respective to the A to the B1 and B2 side. And that's exactly how the delays work. The reverb is global. So I can have one delay with a 3 16th time, and that's this side. And this is to the B side. We could have it slower if we wanted. Now we have width which is spatial dimension the has effect which is mono to very wide depth and distance which is similar to piano miking and instrument miking clarity is the highs warmth mid Body EQ is lows, 80 hertz. Now we have LFOs and envelopes we could we could modulate as sources and route them to destinations. So let me show you how we could we already routed an envelope to the A1 oscillator. Let me show you an example of the LFO1 routed to a filter, the A filter. Bring the amount down a little bit. Now we have the helium release in the back, which you could turn on here, respective. Let me slow down the gating so you could hear it better. Now, attack down would enable the release of the helium. Let me enable that also. Attack up would be the reverse. So it's going down. Uh, hold, decay, sustain, and release. We have saturation, which is third order harmonics for a slight analog feel. And destruction, which is a more apparent distortion.
Now we can we can also add a modulation rooting, and let's say let's root that to an os. Let's root that to the B filter frequency. That way we're controlling this frequency on the low pass, or we could use another low pass, a band pass, high pass, or comb. Let's put it on the comb. It's this side. Let's put the, vi the amount up. See how it sounds on the low pass. Now we could have the modulation rooting to more than one thing. Let's put it on B2 filter resonance. Now there's eight slots for sources and destinations in the modulation matrix, and um, there's over a hundred preset um, wave instruments that you could choose from. There's also over 500 factory sound presets, and let me just, it's real easy to save a preset, save it as, say that was a gated, let's call it a... Uh, Heaven's Gator. All right, so let me show you some leads, then I'll go into some evolving synths and just show you what's in the factory sound bank. That's LD Smoke Phase. Timber Ice. Liquid Resonance. Evol all alpha Particles. This is an evolving synth. Anti-negativity. All these are included in the factory sound bank. Filter porn. Widening portals. Realization bells. Clockwork future bells. Elon's guitar. Mono synths. This is dual ghost. Legato Arco Riser. Young Sizzle Ghost.
high and godly. This is a choir. Spanning angels. So there's so many sounds, guys. There is three refills so far as expansions for the helium that are also available at reasonstudios.com in the shop. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys make some, some real cool sounds with the Helium Quad Evolving Synthesizer by DNA Lab Software. I appreciate you guys watching. And let me know if I missed anything or if you, you want me to go over anything in the comments. And uh, once again, thanks for watching Reason Gang TV. I'll see you guys later. Salute. Thank you.